Well, a concussion is a brain injury. It can mean anything from a simple conk on the head to somebody that receives significant head trauma, has bleeding, is unconscious, and is on life support. With a typical concussion, one might experience headache, a foggy feeling, visual disturbance, balance disturbance, a feeling of nausea, of not being able to get your thoughts together as quickly as you usually would have, a loss of memory, difficulty recalling events, both before and after. In the nature of a concussive injury, when the impact happens, the body's memory now is to remember the impact, keeping in mind that each concussive injury, there's a memory for the one before. Oftentimes what we'll see in a practice setting is people that have had multiple concussive events. And when we'll generally see them is when they've come to threshold, which means when their bodies are no longer able to adapt and compensate. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy when used for concussion care is, is the best. When you have damaged brain tissue, it is using hyperbaric oxygen and it's the power of oxygen and the regenerative capability of oxygen and pressure to fix that concussed tissue. Basically, you, you want to try to perfuse the areas of injury to the brain. If there's an initial insult or injury, you want to treat that with hyperbaric medicine so that there can be more blood flow to that area and more oxygen to that area, which allows that neuronal tissue that's sitting on the borderline of whether it's going to die or not die to be able to live. The primary benefit is to reduce the penumbric effect. Effectively, increasing oxygen increases blood flow, i.e. angiogenesis, creates a context for the system to start to heal. You're reducing inflammation, you're increasing stem cells. It might take 30, 40, 50, 60 hyperbaric sessions, and we're monitoring, and we're having them then advance back to where it needs to be.